So, okay, so um, uh, th this is this is how it looks like. Obviously, you will have to get these kind of uh, digital badges that is super, super important for you people. So um, once you go over here, you just have to go for uh, the uh, certifications that um, that you want to pursue for, for the timing, obviously, uh, you oh, are like no, looking no, no. Uh, like for the time being you're looking for uh, you are looking for and just have to mute yourself sorry okay so for the timing you just have to look or you can just easily like search on uh, on uh, on these trainings these manage certifications you can see manage your exams access your certifications you can browse over here and see what certifications you are going so you can see all those ITI. This is one of the top one that we're talking about. ITIF plus over here, right? So this covers all of your IT fundamentals. ITIF plus covers a range of IT topics and provides a solid grounding in the technology concepts and practices organizations use today. So um, if, you, if you explore this, you have to go and you have to read their um, you can say their course outline. This is the exam code that would be required, FC0-U61. So this is the exam code that you will be looking for. And you can see on the exam, you can also, you can easily buy over here and you can see the exam details over here. These are the exam details. The number of maximum questions per exam would be 75 questions. It would be multiple choice and the length of test would be 60 minutes over here. The passing score would be 650 uh, on the scale of 900. So no prior experience is necessary. Obviously you have gone through so many things. So I think, I don't think uh, you would actually, um, uh, you, you would actually like need or you just have to spend more like five to 10 years just to get experience. No, you just have to jump into the water. Simple as that, okay? Just go for it. Just have a quick revision and uh, see if the things are working totally fine. You're totally satisfied with your preparation and uh, you're good to go. Simple as that, okay? And obviously the retirement is usually three years after the launch. So um, after the uh, after these exams are launched by the comps here, they actually um, they actually revise those uh, certification tests. Okay, uh, it, it is because due to the rapid change of technology, now for example, like artificial intelligence is something new. Okay, it's totally like uh, it, it. It's not like super new, but it has come actually to the practical ground of organization. So that's why they have to include artificial intelligence, at least the basics, okay? Not the super ones. So at least you should know that, okay, and that is artificial intelligence. So they have to uh, add the those uh, latest security trends, uh, those social engineering trends that we are having, we are facing from uh, day to day. Uh, those networking protocols that are getting updated, those operating systems that, 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 that are actually getting updated. So uh, this is actually one thing that uh, they make force or like the, the technology force them to, uh, to retire their certification after three years, okay? So the retirement date for the ITIF Plus is um, after three years. Um, they have... Uh, uh, Petra, yeah, thank you so much for the question. So they say that, okay, if, uh, if uh, uh, do, do they have the exam preparation? Yes, they have, but the problem is like, they charge like, uh, if I'm not wrong, like 2000, something like that. This is uh, instructor lead training. So let's just check out, by the way. Uh, once uh, someone told me they charge super great amount, okay? So if you go, training for you. I hope they have listed their charting and all the stuff. So uh, if you go over here, you can see all of those. Uh, yeah, you can see the rate over here, right? Uh, it's 4,000, just, it, it's just $4,000, just simple, only 4,000, okay? So it's just an idea, okay, for, for you people to get how things are going, okay? 
and I am like super sure they won't show you a lot of these things that we have done through their course. So um, uh, we have, there's also one, another kind of um, testing provider. We call it the person view, uh, person view testing, okay? So you just have to go to the testing centers over here. That's super important, okay? Person view testing, it is super. You just have to note it down. Uh, you can also take like from within your home or you just have to go for the person view, um, you can say a certified testing, uh, like take in person exam. Uh, if not sure in person testing is right for you, learn more about the testing options. So you have a lot of things over here. By the way, you can just go to person view website and they have listed over here and you can easily like find uh, near your town. So you can just go and just give your test over there. You can just go to this website and I'll just copy that over here. It is called person view testing. Okay, this is uh, testing. Uh, you can say testing platform. Okay, so they will get tests from you, okay? And you can just tell them, okay, I want to, um, I want to appear in CompTIA ITIF plus or Cybersecurity plus or A plus or the list goes on, okay. All CompTIA is Cloud plus Security plus. So uh, whichever like you are totally fine, you can just go to this website, Person View website, and you can see which is uh, which test center is near your home, your town, that is easily approachable. So you can. Uh, you can easily go and you can easily like uh, you can easily as casually or make your online test over there and you can just go on the same time just make sure you get your id card you get um, you don't have any pets over there obviously and uh, you have to be super super like um, you can say uh, no paperwork nothing just you and your hard work and uh, they will give you a computer by the way, okay? And you just have to sit in front of the camera and uh, you have to turn on the camera by the way. And you don't, you cannot even uh, mobile, okay? If you, if you even like speak, so the other person will just like, they'll say, hey, this is your last warning or maybe they can straight away cancel your test. So it's just you and your hard work, your dedication. And uh, this is how you get your digital page that is recognized by any organization in the world, okay? If you say I'm CompTIA certified, even if it is like the low standard, still like you are super, super great when a lot of people believe me, okay? So CompTIA is one of the great brands that actually that that uh, that, that they, they have created something super great. Uh, so when you pass the test, obviously you, you're like, um, you're IT professional by the way, so. Uh, one most important thing over here to see in this thing is to um, to to use um, to use the official CompTIA um, like course outline. Okay, you always have to go for the official CompTIA um, guideline. If you go to exam details over here, uh, you will see these are the details. Uh, there's also a PDF, by the way, if you go, they will give you like complete uh, exam detail. Okay, that, like this section is like from this chapter, I will get like 20%. From chapter number seven, you will get like two questions. So this is how it is done, okay? You have to be super, super ready, super, super clear enough on the test day. Uh, one of uh, the most problematic, like, uh, you can say people say hey yeah whenever I just go to test I don't like test by the way I get stress and things are like uh, super complex so uh, it, it's not a good idea to 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 appear in test uh, you don't have to get stressed if you're prepared if you have if you're like totally comfortable with your preparation you have to be super cool by the way okay it's not like you just you have just uh, open your eyes and you say hey let's just give a test today for the com tit let's see what what happens you have gone through a revision you have gone through course outline you have gone through practical skills you have dedicated your time so i think it is the time to cash those things okay to get the certificate okay to get a digital recognition 
so you, you so you should be like exceptional from other common individuals around the market okay so whenever you just forward your cv your resume in front of the hr in front of those organization they say hey okay this individual is like uh, CompTIA certified so it is it's the best fit for organization so they'll prefer you by the way okay this is how it is done so um, this is the this is the um, the basic things that you can easily do. You can obviously, if you go for the by exam over here, they have three bundles. Okay, they have CompTIA, ITIF plus. Uh, this was the exam code that we discussed. FCO U six one um, exam water. Obviously, uh, it is like one hundred thirty four dollars. Uh, obviously, you, you can pay. Um, you can pay through your a master or visa card or through online payment they have they have the basic also they say uh, exam watcher plus retake okay self-paced study guide i think that's already shared with you people if not i'll just uh, make sure mr akin will share that with you but this one uh, with 205 205 dollar they have a retake also so even if you're like super not like you say oh I, I just want to um to try on my first attempt i don't know if i can pass in all the stuff if you're like not confident enough so obviously you'll have to pay like 75 or something like 70 something extra over so the comp chair will give you and two watchers okay even if you like fail so you can retake again okay but I don't recommend this one, by the way. You just have to go for the first one. That's super great enough. You'll easily clear that. It's not that much difficult, okay? Then we have uh, the exam uh, uh, preparation bundle. That's two of the six from the CompTIA. Uh, they have self based They have CompTIA set master practice, exam watcher. I don't think that's also like required. You don't have to invest too much uh in such kind of things you're already prepared you can go and they can they can give you other option as well i think let's just go for the fourth one this is e-learning bundle already over here some was integrated in like uh, a set master learn plus compta lab so it's almost like 500 it's just an idea that those people are interested they can also avail these options okay but as per my experience, I think you should like go for the first basic one that is the also the cheapest, so you can easily like uh, you can go and you can proceed with that. Okay. Okay. So let's just uh, let's just go for a few questions. Okay. There's one thing super super important to mention over here um whenever like you're on the internet i have already mentioned this thing it is related to security so uh cyber security so whenever like you're using online shopping or you're using accessing uh, those or sign uping all those websites always always keep two email accounts or two credit or debit cards okay always make that two okay the reason behind it, the, your core financial account, your core account that you have your savings, all your lifetime hard work and all the stuff, it should always be safe enough, okay? You can have another bank account just for online shopping. So whenever you require, you can just uh, transfer like $50, something like that. So you can do the post transaction for the safe side, even if that's compromised, if that account is online compromised, uh they'll just like stay like 20 or something like 50 dollar by the way i hope that's also not uh done but it's just a precautionary measure for you people okay so this is how you keep your yourself safe and this is how you make uh your like uh being in it obviously of uh your you're making your own self safe so that's one of the best thing uh, that okay they're also uh, showing us those things so we are safe enough so we can also guide or recommend other people as well, right? So the same applies for the email logins, okay? Whenever you have like, uh, there should always be like two or three email addresses. The reason behind it, uh, behind this is that uh, your core email address, you should never ever use for those promotion purposes, like for all those, uh, for those uh, fake websites and all the stuff, okay? 
they can be compromised they can ditch you they can have like something like super like uh, you can say tricky that can compromise your account so um, i'll just show one of uh, one of the uh, one of the website okay uh, this is called exam go and uh, uh, it's um, it's not a sponsored website by the way so you have to be uh, very well aware of it okay it's just a free tool uh, we know about it so uh, i'm just forwarding the link over here to you people so you can see these are the exam questions over there you just have to click a uh, click on the comp here okay let me just go over here uh, you can see that i have also like login like with my own so it is like uh, it's not um you have to be aware of it okay so uh comptia exam when you come to the comptia part over here you have to look for the comptia a comptia itif plus right the one we just did so you just have to go i just have to go over here this is network plus this is it fundamental right so it is just over here. You can see my screen, right? Can you please just um, just have a confirmation? Can you see my screen? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, so this is uh, like they, they have those exam patterns, okay? Um, they have written the number of questions like it is just for your revision. The number of question in exam is on the website, right? It was like 75, if I'm correct, right? So they have uh, from the previous exams, they have collected all those last three exams questions. So it makes like 213. So you have to be the last update. It was on September 17. It is super updated, by the way. So you can easily like, start your free uh, CompTIA practice test over here. You can observe your thing, okay? You can see uh, which of the following is the lowest unit for mailing bandwidth, okay? Uh, we have discussed about um, bandwidth, the, the speed of internet that's just uh, that you have uh, in like in, in same and download and upload. We have two kind of bandwidth. One is shared bandwidth, the other one is a CIR committed internet rate bandwidth. So the CIR bandwidth is like super fast when remember, okay? Shared bandwidth is always a little slower, okay? Uh, we are talking about the internet bandwidth over here. So uh, let, let's just, uh, let's just go for this question, okay? Question like a uh, startup company has created a logo the company wants to ensure no other entity can use the logo for any purpose. Which of the following should be the company uh, the company used to best to protect the logo, okay? So you have to choose two over here. From these five options, you have to choose two over here. So one is patent, one is copyright, one is uh, non-disclosure agreement, and DA we call it, trademark, and we also have uh, EULA. So uh, can anyone have an idea, uh, like any idea what should be the answers, any idea? Taibo, thank you so, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, that's great. Okay, copyright and trademark, Stephen, that's also, thank you so much for your input. Larry, thank you so much for your input. So, okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, copyright and trademark. So, uh, uh, I, I'm just reading my little comments over here. So we'll just now, uh, I uh, we will we'll just see the answers over here, okay? So you have to select two, by the way, okay, remember, we 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 had in the question you have to read the question super super carefully over here they say choose two okay out of these five choose two over here so what um, uh, if you have created a logo if you have created a logo 
So copyright is one of, it's, it's like for sure, okay? So it's like copyright, it is still like ours. So you can also see in most logos, they have a small C at the left bottom or the right bottom corner, even at the top uh, left bottom. So you can also see that. So I think this is for sure. So we just have to uh, show the answer over here and it is obviously the copyright and trademark. You can see the answers, okay? Thank you so much for 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 your for your answers. So then we have um, question number three. It is just you can say uh, we are, we are just practicing. Okay, you have to uh, you have to look after those things. Uh, you have to make sure you have a strategy for your exam. When you are sitting on your online exam and you have paid like also like one hundred thirty four dollars. Uh, or maybe there are like, if you go for the further exam, so you have to pay like 500, like $1,000 for upper certification administrations and all those manager level positions, like they are super great also in pay. So obviously you have to clear the certification as well. So uh, this is how you have to follow that, okay? I have, uh, I have like personally appeared in like in 28 uh, certifications, okay? And I having like 25 of them. So three were like down, I don't know. I am not a perfect machine. So I also get fail, okay, don't worry about it. So, but the reason is that these are fundamentals. You have to grab the certification. It's super, super important for your career, okay? Once you have a ground uh, certification, you will like easily uh, go from for the next one, then for the next one, you will have an idea of it, okay? So in exam, always, always remember to have termination strategy, okay? What is termination strategy? Termination strategy is the options that doesn't make sense, to, okay? That doesn't even make sense that, okay, why does accounting appear over here? My goodness, why, what's D uh, doing over here? I'm just uh, having a guess, okay? I, I, I haven't even read the question, by the way. So let's just read this question that a regulation requires a new applicants to provide a scan of their retinas in the case of any future legal questions regarding who uh, applied for the position. Which of the following, uh, which, which of the uh, following concept is an example of? So they have given non repudiation you have authentication, you have integrity, you have accounting, right? So now, as we discuss that, okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, now, now, answers are already coming to us. That's okay if you see and if you log in, that's totally fine enough, okay? You are accountable to your own self. Everyone is accountable to their own self, okay? So uh, I cannot like blindfold your eyes that you shouldn't see the... Uh, Okay, thank you so much, Joseph. That's great, and that's 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 super great. Thank you so much, my friend. You just see, okay, let's just show the answer over here. Oh, it's authentication. So let's just type over here, authenticate. That's okay. Your IG personal now. Your IG professional. Okay, so if you see that, you have to be super super fast, by the way. So thank you so much, Stephen. Okay. So uh, let's just read this question. Okay, we have read this question. Which of the following con uh, concept is this an example of? So uh, what I'm uh, trying to understand you people is to uh, tell you that, okay, non repetition I don't think so. Even it, it's close like to this concept, this retina concept. So I'll just throw away this option, okay? So now I have three options, right? Then I'll create, okay, authentication, it makes sense. Let's just leave this one for an option to us. Integrity, integrity, yeah, it also makes some kind of, you can say sense over here. Accounting, I don't think accounting doesn't have any. So you just straight away, you have terminated accounting, you have terminated reputation. You only have now two questions over here. And you have to think these things like in, in, in seconds, okay? You, you, you cannot like spend like 10 minutes on a single question. You have 75 questions and you have 60 minutes, okay? Remember that. So there are questions that, uh, that, 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 that require like milliseconds from you, okay? You have to be super fast. You have to do like, so and there are lengthy questions you have to, even if you read that, maybe your half minute or maybe a minute will already like, go from a front from your timer okay so you have to be very very careful 
So when you compare, like when you have like two options over here, you say, okay, it doesn't make sense. It is authentication. So this is how you do these online tests. You you do all these, um, uh, you, you play these exam questions and you go like, okay, super excited. I've just gone through question number 75 and it is obviously true and I have played my ITIF, CompTIA, ITIF played, okay? It's very great like over here, if you just go, a technician is installing plug and play USB mouse, you know about plug and play, right? You don't need drivers for those devices. You just you just buy those plug and play, you just, uh, you just buy and you just plug into your laptop, your desktop, they get those drivers already installed and you don't need to look for the render and all the stuff, okay? So, which of the following must uh, the technician do to complete the installation? Manually install the driver. Why would you manually install a driver if it is already written, if it is plug and play? It means that you have just to plug and they'll automatically play, okay? This is how it's done. So it doesn't make sense for you. The question, uh, option number one A is automatically like, straight away thrown to the trash bin, okay? Then we have uh, configure the USB port. Why would you configure a USB port if it is already plug and play? Download the driver software, it doesn't make sense. It's only uh, connect the mouse only makes sense to all of us. So let's just show this answer and the green check is over here, right? So how great it is, right? We have a lot of bees over here and all, and all of those like we have our students like Stephen, Joseph and uh, Patrick and they say, oh my goodness, I am super intelligent. How can I just know this question without looking to the answer? You're a genius, by the way, you all are genius. Okay, super great educated people we have over here. Great, thank you so much. So question number five, I'll just do a few more and obviously I'll just, I will just pick a random number over here. I hope you get something like um, maybe some scenario based completed by the six months service site. So let's just jump to page number two also. Okay, I have to do the verification text uh, also here. Okay, technician get a document still interesting from a touch the following list stripe and document. Okay. It's just a theoretical. I want something that's like uh, more, you can say, practical. You don't just... So, uh, which of the following family con confidentiality concern is dropping, impersonating, distracting, altering? We have already covered this. And let's just jump into something. Okay, maybe this one, question number three, maybe makes sense to us. An employee, now look, question number three is super long, okay? You can have like short questions also, which are the following best describe a kilobyte. So you can just say that, okay, um, a kilobyte is a measurement of storage, a kilobyte is a measurement of throughput, a kilobyte is a measurement of power, processor speed. So it depends on, uh, on the length of the question. You have to be super, super fast, okay? Super, super fast too. To, to get into those things. An employee is, uh, is asked to generate a report on a student information system. And the employee uses spreadsheet software, uh, spreadsheet software and connects to a remote database to pull data for the report. Which of the following types of application uh, architecture did the employee use? So um, they have generated a personal information system, the employee uses spreadsheet software and connects uh, to a remote database to pull out data for to the following type of application, uh, application architecture did employee use. So now let's see. Uh, okay, so we have standalone application. That means um, uh, it is just a single application. Uh, it doesn't have any web access, so it is all in all itself. So that those applications are known as standalone applications. Then we have a client server application. It means that there's a master setup on the server side, and we have a small setups to be installed on those uh, client side. So these are known as client server application. So whatever changes you do on the server side, they are updated also, though they need up to be updated on the client side as well. Then we have the web application also. So um, 
obviously they are usually on the internet and the cloud are like on specific cloud they are like um, um fully cloud application okay they, they don't have on premises application server so if you just go this is the client server application the uh, v so it's generate a certain information if i use spreadsheet and connect to rms so to pull it from which of the so they have the client server application, one of the most like super common application architecture that you'll be seeing or you'll be observing in your IT career is the client server, okay? So you have like master, like complete server for a specific application, like for hotlink, for healthcare system, for, for food delivery and all the stuff. So these are all a client based client and server based application so i think you should know this uh, example this is um, this is not uh, uh, you can say a sponsored it is just a simple search so you have to be aware no it's just kind of like free kind of tool you have to be aware of it okay so uh, I have just uh, searched this to this exam. Someone has recommended us. Hey, you can just have a look for for your students. You can just recommend them something that they can have uh, a use of it. Okay, so um, please just go with this uh, simple question. When you get time, you can have a great session in these things, and uh, you can easily like understand what kind of exam question I am expecting. And obviously, it will not be the same. Or it would not be the same as this is, so you have to be aware of it. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, let just uh, Mr. Akin, are you with us? Um, yes, I'm here, sir. Okay, thank you so much. So, uh, sure. thank you so much. Any announcement for? Uh, for the students, as we discussed, like uh, we'll be also having multiple more courses also in uh, very near future. So you have to absolutely, uh, have absolutely a, have to. Thank uh, you, thank you so much, uh, Naza. Uh, keep, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. Sure, sure, sure. So I mean, um, ladies and gentlemen, as always, amazing, amazing time. It's always a delight when we start a journey and we get to a point we are wrapping up. Now, in our community, for those of us that know us, you know, we don't wrap up relationship, right? You might finish a program, but it's a journey of, um, you know, a professional ukon really within ourselves. So we are stuck with each other professionally. Our goal and long-term plan is we'll keep our group active as always. You'll still be hearing from us, get information. A lot of you have reached out to me for the upcoming program next week for Cyber GRC. And we'll talk about that shortly. Um, it's a great program. And honestly, if you have this foundation that Nazar and I gave you for the last four weeks, I think you'll be in a good position to be successful at it. Number one, there's no coding requirement. There's no programming requirement, but it's a career on its own. A lot of, And it's a six-digit career for those of us in North America. If you're not in North America, I understand it because, you know, it might not be something you can do immediately because of um, the opportunities are more here immediately, right? And Europe, Canada, the same thing. Um, so no, not a big deal, but it's a great field. Um, the opportunity is crazy. You know, most of the time people have asked me also, some of you reached out and said, what are the kind of job I can apply for? Now in the space of cybersecurity, believe it or not, there are two key areas in general. There's a technical field, which is the foundation we've been trying to do to get you going to have basic knowledge of different things, right? Then there is the functional non-technical field. Now, believe it or not, your C-level executives, your VPs, your directors and senior managers, many times, they honestly don't care about core technical things because guess what? The technical players we are dealing with, we have the likes of Cisco, Fortinet, AWS, Palo Alto, CrowdStrike, a lot of them. So there are so many vendors out there, really. You and I cannot beat those vendors. We can learn their solution and the tools they have. But we can't beat them. We can't, you know, you're not going to build a solution right now and say, I'm going to start competing with Cisco immediately. It will take a while, right? So that's not what we are playing. What we are playing is that you understand the strategy of a business. This program I'm talking about next week, for those of you that hacks me, it's really designed on the strategy side. So let me give a practical example. A practical example is a new CISO, Chief Information Security Officer, joins the organization. They are like you and I. They have no clue what to do 
in the organization because they don't know what they've been doing before, they would ask you, can you do a quick assessment to help me to make decisions on four things? Decisions they make would be number one, they want to know about the process existing. Process is just those steps, guidelines we use in our organization, right? This is how we do business. So they want to know the process around your business. Number two, they want to know about technology. Whatever decision we make would make me think about the kind of technology to bring on board. And, you know, um, one of my roles, I was responsible for solution partners in North America for a global consulting firm, right? And believe it or not, all the big players, everybody tell you, oh, I can do it. My tool can do this. My tool can do this. Everybody says the same thing. So, you know, it's like it's a sales speech, to be honest. At the end of it, it's sales. Because the truth is that everybody's tool is mostly equally good. But at the end of the day, it's just the marketing side, right? The third piece that people are pushing for that I as a CISO want to make a decision about is also in terms of governance, meaning how would we govern all of the strategy we are talking about? Don't forget, if you have a plan and your leadership, especially the board and your senior management is not on board, it's going to be useless eventually. I guarantee you it will fall apart. So it's not enough to say, oh, I'm a leader, I have a plan. So it doesn't make a difference. If your leadership is not on board, on board and they're not pushing your agenda and they're not making the team and the organization to understand it's a priority, it will never go anywhere, guaranteed. Then the final thing is the most important piece, I believe, people. Decisions you make when you do an assessment would shape the people to hire. Very big deal. So let me take it again. I said four key things that you're helping your CISO or your VP, or your leadership to make. This program will teach you all of those key things. You're going to do risk assessment. How do you assess risk? You're going to do third-party risk. How do you deal with third-party vendors within your organization? You're going to map cybersecurity framework and don't care about all those things. But the point I'm making is that a lot of you that would, this background is enough to get you going. That's where I'm getting to. So for those of you that have asked me that, okay, can you join? Um, you will decide yourself, but ultimately, I think this is a good background to take you to a new level of getting knowledge if you want to. Um, if you don't want to, still go ahead and do whatever you want to do, your certification, do all that stuff. But honestly, I'll tell you, let me talk about North America, for those of you in North America. The reality is this, right? I'll tell you about my own story, right? For as far back as 1999 or so, I did MCSE, right? It's a Microsoft certification. Then if you can spell MCSC, you probably get a job because all of us didn't know what we were doing, right? It was easy. Now, in North America, for example, when I make a hiring decision, honestly, and I have over 15 certifications too in the past, right? And But let me be honest with you. Nobody has ever called me and said, okay, you know what? Show me your certification. <laughs> Nobody has ever done that. But what they would want to do is your skill. Can you execute? Don't complicate it. It's simple. Problem, solution. That's it. It's like you and I. If you hire somebody to paint your house, you don't care if they have a PhD in painting. If one person comes and says, I have a PhD in painting, I know the theory of painting. And somebody said, I'm a high school kid. I painted your neighbor's house. I painted your friend's house. Go confirm from them. You and I would just say, okay, dude, paint my house. That's all I care. It's the same thing. So don't complicate it. It's all about skill, execution. And the program is designed for skill, strictly hands on. You're going to, and it's a lot of, you will do a lot of work, to be honest. You're going to, and every one of my projects, you have to do it. I have uh, teaching assistants that will focus on the project to make sure we execute on it. If you don't do it, we'll know. Um, so it's a little bit different because we're going to be very, very detailed to make sure you do your work. Um, so there's no excuse, really. So, um, but that's really the program. And at the end of the day, most of the jobs, North America, Canada, US, they are six digit job. The least paid I've seen in the last six months was 90K. Um, the salary can go as high as 130,000 for most of the job. Um, I don't push my folks to, um, you know, eye level yet for your first job, just because I want to be conservative. I want to make sure that your first job is within, you know, the middle bracket so they don't make you a lead and that could be awkward. So we try to do that too. So, but that's really some of the key upcoming program. Another program coming up, folks, look out for this. You must do it. 
um, for all our program, we have the free version, then we have the paid version. We have all of those, right? Really big into our process to support our community, really. And um, it's a leadership program. You must be, I don't, it doesn't matter your background. Some of the folks who are taking this together, they are top leadership in different organizations. Um, I've been the head of delivery of operational technology for a global consulting firm in North America. And I know what it takes in terms of leadership in this field, for sure and any other field. So we'll give you some of those pointers in terms of communication, conflict management, productivity tools, things that would help you even in negotiation. Um, so look out for that coming up. Those are things, events coming up in our pipeline also. Another two area coming up, internship. This is free for our community. Everybody must go crazy to enroll. The internship every week for like a month, you'll be working extensively on projects that we'll be working on together you would have to deliver to. We work in a group, so it's going to be very interactive. Look out for that. Then a mentorship program that's going to be in October also. So a lot of good things. So the bottom line, you can tell already that we are never short of activities yet. Trust me. Those of you already in our community, you know that there's always something going. Because the truth is this. Listen, man. If you're in technology, the more you are dynamic, the more relevant you are. You can't just be static it's like a river if you don't flow you become stagnated and useless really so we don't play that game here we are so proactive and we understand the trend we go to conferences we go to presentation seminars so we know the trends out there i mean i go to the best conference the world has to offer yearly so that i know sometimes i get out of the states to go to some conference to just to get knowledge so it's um we are fresh we know what the trend is as a matter of fact right now as i was speaking with you before I joined, believe it or not, um, I'm in one of my office complex, so I have some neighbors around me within my office complex, and um, I just stumbled on one of them. Is the you know CEO of a AI company, and we just you know um, that was why I was a bit late actually. We got talking about some projects they are working on. We exchange numbers, collaboration, and that's just the way it is in technology. Really, there's no easy way around it. So I challenge you. This is just the first step. I can't wait to see you take it to the next level. Don't ever think, oh, I take a class or training, this is it. We don't do that. You can't do that, actually. I can't even afford to do that. NASA cannot do that. We can never do that because we know we have to keep up with the trend, to keep updating ourselves. And another thing I'll challenge you, you know, I'll go to our YouTube page a lot. You'll see us do things like, um, you know, um, Lions Den. When we interview people, you kind of see some of those things. Be plugged into those systems of understanding how people think. you see us push out weekly um, cyber news, for example. Plug into those stuff. The more you get into those activities, it gets much more part of your life, really. It becomes a lifestyle at the end of the day. So, I mean, that's that's really the gist of it in terms of upcoming things. In a few minutes also, we're going to ask you guys to um, feel like, well, not too fast, guys. You're still going to do Kahoot before you go, okay? <laughs> so we're not going to let you guys off the hook of Kahoot. you still do Kahoot before we go. and um, But beside the Kahoot, we always like feedback. So we're going to do like a live feedback also so that you guys can give us feedback, meaningful feedback we can use to improve this program. And you will see a lot of times we do free program like this so that we can and, you know, for us, it's important to give back, really, because we look and I say to, my, you know, we, we we planned this, we designed this and said to ourselves, listen, we have a lot of people that have reached out to us and said, hey, you know, I want to get into IT. I have no clue. I have nothing. I mean, this is a huge, huge gap that we noticed. And we said, you know what? Let us have um, offer a platform to get people off that level of saying I'm movies of IT. Now, it doesn't make you an expert immediately. You get out of that word novice. You become much more a person that is more aware of IT. So the awareness is there for you now. So you are no longer a novice. So everybody on this call, of course, I'm not saying you're a guru yet, right? I'm not saying, oh, now you know everything about IT. Even we don't know everything about IT, right? Let's be honest about it. But you're not one of those people that will say, I don't know anything about IT at all. No, no, no. You can't say that again. If you call me and I say, you say you don't know anything about it, I'll just go check your name and see, oh, this guy took our foundation class. You can't say that about you know yourself again. So um, give yourself credit also. One thing I would commend you, and I mean it from my heart personally, is for showing up. This is amazing. 
you should pat yourself on the back. It's not fun. You guys, believe it or not, you should consistently for the last four weekends. Eight classes. Consistently. Those are the traits of leadership and success. It is the consistency. It's not really how smart you are. Smartness is nothing. Anybody can be smart. In fact, I think I'm the most, one of the most, virtually 90% of you are smarter than I am. I can guarantee you. But one thing that probably you will probably never beat me too. I'm just a very annoying, persistent person if I want something. That you probably will not beat me there. You know, think about the class nuisance that is just never going to go away. That's probably where I fall in. You know, you guys might be the smart folks. God bless you. I, I give you credit. But guess what? Give me a few months. Give me a few years. I will become your leader. Almost guaranteed. Because I would never take the fundamental trivia. Because I'm not so smart like you all, right? I'm just persistent. I'll keep pushing. I'm patient. And um, I'll keep pushing. Consistency is the key. Just keep showing up. Keep pushing. Over time, for some weird reason, the universe always open. I can't even explain it to you, but that's just the reality. The universe will open because you just don't quit. So I'm challenging you on the call. Don't quit. I mean, you are in it. Go all in. Take classes. Go to community colleges. Learn more. Learn cloud. Go to our platform. Take our program. Take other program. Take, just be all in. You already started the game. And I know this for a fact because, uh, you know, um, story is good. I hope it helps somebody, one or two people. You know, I'll tell you, you know, uh, some years back, I moved to the States, right? And um, one of the first things you find out, especially if you're an international student, is, you know, you don't just automatically remain in a location if you migrate from diaspora, right? And what I found out was, you know, um, what I did my master's in, right, the two-year program, you know, was not enough or adequate for me to get someone to, you know, clamor and file for my working visa then. To my surprise and shock, I took a skill, you know, but I'm just open-minded. I learn whatever I want to learn. I just keep learning. A class I went to take casually outside of my regular master's I spent thousands of dollars on, right? A class I took casually was the game changer for me professionally. Some of you that know what we call a tool called SAP, right? I was an SAP specialist then. I just casually went to take an ERP2 solution called SAP. And to my shock and surprise, ladies and gentlemen, I had like three or four companies, big organizations, fighting for my work visa. You know, think about it. It's crazy for me, you know. You may not understand. It was for me, it was crazy stuff, you know. Something that wasn't relevant to what you went to spend a lot of money for. So sometimes some of those things that you take casual and you feel, okay, it might, you don't even know what will happen are just the things that will make a world of change for us professionally. That's my observation. So never take it for granted. Don't take it casual. This might be it. This might just be the turning point. Of course, initially, you would go through the learning curve. You will go through the growth phase of it. But just keep showing up. Put the work. Put the time. So, so yeah, you know? I, yeah. I, let me, like, uh, as you say, they have already invested their time, right? They have cut off their parties for the last four weeks. So let me just conclude that all in a very short story of a king. Okay, it is a very interesting one. So just stay with me. It's a very short one. Okay, there was a king. So he had a doctor advisor. So then the king got injected with one of his finger and that single advisor of him, he suggested that, oh, king, you just have to cut off your finger. And, uh, and like his ministers were like listening to this, right? So like six ministers were saying, my goodness, he's just cutting off the, the king finger. Why would he do that? So uh, although the, the king agreed and he cut off his finger so because he knew that this uh, this is a skillful person. I know my, my physician and all this stuff, right? So uh, then all of those other ministers said, okay, we will just try to kill the king. And there was a plot and the king was uh, the next day, uh, like they told them that, okay, let's just, let's just uh, tell the king to, uh, to have, you can say, a hunting program in the forest. Right. So they actually uh, they actually then um, uh, one of the his advisor went with the king 
and uh, the king like the king get lost in the in the forest and his advisor went uh, to other way right so they both lost some some although there was a plotting to to kill the king right so uh, when uh, they, uh, after that after that so there were some you can say people from the jungle like they were never they were uncivilized And and they and and they need and they need someone to be executed for their annual festival, right? It is very interesting, by the way. Just stay with the story, okay? So he just caught the king, and the the people of the the jungle just caught the king, and uh, they put a fire, and they put the king in front of the fire, and and those uh, and those people from the jungle, they say, okay, let's just watch out if the king is like fully a complete human being, right? So. Uh, when they just saw, when they just saw, when they just saw the king, so there was one finger that was cut off, and those uh, people of jungle said, "Oh, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, execute this person." They didn't know that he was a king. We cannot execute this person because he doesn't have a complete body, right? He has mm -hmm. one finger cut off of uh, himself. So uh, then uh, they left that king due to that one finger cut off that was cut off by his advisor. And uh, they found the other, uh, the other person that was trying to kill the king and they executed that one. So uh, the moral of the story is that sometime when you kill some parties and all the stuff, you get reward for that, okay? So you have like sacrificed your time, you have sacrificed your last four weeks. You have done all those things, and how great that is, and that that you have invested amazing. those are very positive thing. So uh, this was one yeah. thing to 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 like conclude something for them, and uh, they can have this uh, quick story as a moral for for all of the students. So, yeah, and I, you know, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I really um, with I respect I respect this personally because I know, especially within um, you know that Brown community, um, going to religious gathering is a big deal for us right some of us you know we decide to go to earlier services or even saturday services so that we can show up here so i i get it so i know it's a lot of sacrifice to be honest you know i mean um when we put this together i spoke with nazar yeah and i sat down and said hey listen what can we do to make this the best experience for our community to add value to them to give them the best experience that we can leverage big time. So we 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 took that into consideration. We designed and said, you know what? It's a long program. So we expect there will be some people that will not show up for long. <laughs> it's part of the process. It's, I mean, besides, you know, live happens, so we get it. Mostly for a program like this, we just do two weeks. But this time, because we said, you know what? You know, Nazar said, hey, we need to make sure we do justice to it. Let's put some more time. So he said, okay. I said, okay, sure. I'm on board. So it, we made it four weeks just to be able to cover as many things as possible to serve our community as much as possible. But nothing will give us most joy than having you take this to another level entirely. That all of us will just be shocked. That we we'll look back and say, if we trace where the turning point for you professionally was, it was an interaction with us. And we just want to be a footnote in your story of greatness. And I genuinely mean this. I've seen this over and over and over again. To a point, I have to be very conscious not to take it for granted because one, people are you know um, entrusting you with their professional lives. So I don't think it's a serious deal for me. It is a mission. So it's not really, it's never trivial, never. So um, I take it too serious, to be honest. It's a, it's a, it's a mission. It's not a joke for us here. So we want to make sure you can um, put the work. I mean, we challenge each other a lot. You will see me do that a lot. You know, it's not just teaching anybody. You, you don't, honestly, the reason for most of my community, why the difference is simple. You don't need me to teach you anything. Let's face it, folks. There's so much out there on YouTube or on Google, on ChatGP. You can't do anything. The difference mostly is that the element of mentorship. You know, um, life is already crazy for all of us. We just need someone to you know, give us a little ray of hope. So it's by design. It's not like I just feel like talking most time because I know at the end of the day, if the mind is not right, everything else will fall apart. I know that for a fact. 
So the mind must be right. We must be able to believe and um, hopefully transfer that belief to others that look, if I that I'm not as smart as you can wing this and make you work, you can do way better. I know for a fact, way better. Especially the younger folks, if you are on this call, man, you guys have a whole world of future and greatness ahead of you that you can't just, just jump on it. There's zero excuses. Don't second guess yourself. Don't let anyone talk you down, talk your dream down, um, fine tune or make your dream small. Don't do it. Just do you, you know? And um, if God is your partner, make your vision and your mission big. Laugh at yourself. Make yourself silly and say, man, am I crazy thinking like this? Let it happen. I mean, and that's the way I look at it, you know? Um, so just have fun and uh, make the best out of this. Somebody ask me, and feel free to ask questions and, you know, in a bit we'll get into our, just do our quiz and all that. But ask your questions. Somebody asked me a question that, how long will the mentorship, uh, let me see that question again. How long will the mentorship after the class? So, um, I'm not sure what the question is. So after a program like this, we still keep communicating with our team. You'll see us respond, um, send you guys a lot of things on the platform. Um, join our YouTube page. Let me send our YouTube page again. Please, everybody must like the YouTube channel. Put the, what do you call it, the announcement also so that you can always be aware of what's going on. The key is just plug in. Um, we have a different mentorship program. Um, what I'll recommend for the start, make sure you do the internship program. We have an internship program coming up um, very soon. So make sure you do that. That is a big one. Um, I just posted the YouTube page. Make sure you like it so that you can follow what's going on. The internship program, everybody should be part of it. It's mostly cyber, but just join it because you can learn so much. Join it, register, make sure, because I'll post it to our community. Join that program. The mentorship track is a different program entirely. You know, it's subscription based for mentorship. So that's a different, but it's reasonable. But the internship is free. So just join that one for sure. And just be part of that community. Learn as much as you can. Develop yourself. Work on real life projects. And take credit for it. If somebody asks you, where did you learn this? Yeah, I took an internship at the Institution Skill with Academy. Do that. That's fine. You can do that anytime. All right. More questions. Let's take more questions. Then we jump into the Kahoot. More questions. You can type it to me directly or you can post it to the group. Questions, questions, questions. Okay, cool. Um, you guys are so ready for Kahoot. You guys said, man, we need a question. I just want to do maybe, Kahoot. Maybe actually they don't want to um, make it public, so they would like to uh, hit uh, and enter in Kahoot so you can just, we can see it. Okay, oh, yeah, so that's that great. Sounds a good All right. idea. Thank you. Okay, yeah. yep, we're going to do that in, in the Kahoot session anyway, so don't stress it. I'm going to get us to the Kahoot now in the next few seconds. Let's get to Kahoot. One second. Let me get that out for you. So I'm going to start so, with the Kahoot. So uh, all, all of will be like, all of you should also be like super thankful to Kahoot itself. It was our really good old friend. Okay. It helped us a lot. Okay. It make uh, like absolutely you know, from the day first to lane that's still like working hard to get those core uh, topics into our mind to make things like more interactive. So yeah. obviously you would also like to congratulate the Kahoot that they, they were having a great time with such a great people. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. So let's just jump out to our, uh, um, uh, just jump out to the Kahoot pin over here. You can yep. just scan also, and you can have your game pin also 9126149. So you can easily have over here. And obviously we have these, um, these teams are here. Let's just join that and uh, see uh who is the final winner by the way yeah that's true but, we have team brain team hearts team okay you know let's change it back to our team tiger let me rename it tiger we had jaguar and um team tiger oh lion rather Okay, let's see. Man, everybody's going to Jaguar now. Okay, let's see if we have more people. The The number is 9126149. Thank you all. 
All right, let's give another 30 seconds to have everybody join, please. We would like a lot of you to join because this is like, somebody asked me, how do I join the internship program? Yes, you can join that program. And once we have it kicked off sometime in October, we'll share the link with you. It will be open to the public and you can register at that point. Make sure, one thing I'll encourage everybody is make sure you register for anything um, on our side that we throw out. I'll make sure I include this community also um, to any program or anything we are doing so that you can take advantage of it also. So just jump on it immediately. For those of you that are ping me on the GRC program also, you know, um, it's a great program for sure. I will send the information session we had last week so some of you can take advantage of it, especially if you are comfortable already um, and you are ready for a transition in your career, just do it. Don't waste your time. It will help you a lot to transition. And uh, it's a program that has solid mentorship, solid guidance, you know, and we do interview preparation, mock. We do Lions Den to help you with your live interview scenarios. Um, it, it's just so many good stuff. We are learning a solution with it. Risk Rhino, so so many good stuff attached to it. All right, let's see. Do we have more people joining the Kahoot? Okay, let's get started with Kahoot real quick. If you don't mind, just the Kahoot number again is, um. let's see, the code. I think, let's see that code. 9126149. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got next. All right, let's see if you don't mind, just give us some of your feedback. How did you enjoy the program? And our goal is to improve the experience for us in the future. If you've not joined the Kahoot, kindly join, please. The pin is 9126149, 9126149. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And don't worry, we have our big boy pants on. We can take any um, LD criticism. Not a big deal for us. All right. Let's see. What do you think of the events from the IIT collaboration? You know, what do you think about the events? And very soon we'll give you option to tell us things we can do better, of course. Don't worry, guys. We'll still do our final kahoot, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And I bet you um, we'll definitely, every one of our feedback, we always integrate it in future classes. So don't worry. This is the first time we did this, by the way, the CompTIA program. So it's a lot to learn and build. All right. Let's see how we have the basic covered in the class. So we know we need to do better. So it's not a big deal for us. We are always happy to get those feedback. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Which of the activities do you enjoy the most? Team interaction, self-study, class teaching, Kahoot team. Which one did you enjoy the most? Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, I enjoy the Kahoot too, a lot. And the teaching, of course. How much of the information that you needed was provided?
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Which program will interest you now in general? We have an Anson cyber class. We have a leadership program. We have cyber certification out there. Productivity tools for different areas. All right, thank you, thank you. What is one thing you wish you could change in the program? Uh, I hope students are not, like not uh, uh, commenting that. Do we wish to change the train or actually? <laughs> no, actually, you are totally fine. Okay, you're even also allowed for that. So it is totally okay. You can just give your input. We are very constructive people. Okay, we even uh, do these comments to improve all ourselves. So obviously, we're not AI robots, we're human beings. So we do throw continuous improvement, OK? So don't worry about it. You can write whatever it is. Just be uh, true and be to yourself. Simple as that. All right. Thank you so much. So we have a lot of Martin. OK. Thank you. I would take it. How would you describe your mentor, Naza? You I can write he's, cool. he's awesome. Uh, yeah, you have to. You, you <laughs> just just be be your slats, okay? Just whatever it is. So, I'm a very constructive person, okay? I keep myself pushing to always the learning positions. So that's okay. Uh, all uh, comments are like super super welcome. Okay, don't worry about Absolutely. it. So. Thank you so much, guys. Highly grounded, great guy, good teacher, awesome, amazing, both awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, let me stick myself in there. How do you describe the the guy that keeps disturbing you guys all the time? You know, how do you describe me? Besides saying I have white beard and gap tooth, you know, that would not count. Huh? Ha, 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 ha. My cousin is on the line. Uh, Rolanka, see ya. <laughs> you can tell them that I am just um, just 21 or something like that. It's just like... <laughs> I'm just 15 to Nazar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's just a number for the IT people, right? Yeah. Thank, thank you, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, thank you all. All right, so final one, um, yeah, guys, for those interested, just register. Okay, we have a gift. If you are doing the GRC program, we'll give a gift of 5% off. It's from TIA5. I'll send it to the WhatsApp community so you see that information. You can definitely access all our details there, but uh, we'll give some discount for our team here all right so the final thing ladies and gentlemen we are not going yet you're going to do your kahoot since you all like that kahoot so much we're going to do a final kahoot okay i have to rub in that kahoot for you guys now one thing i'll tell you for this kahoot i'm going to share it's quite a lot okay so but don't care we'll just be quick just quick 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 some of them might be things that you might not even uh, touch so to speak but the idea is to force us to kind of just think about it so that when you do the exam later, you would have an idea of some of the things they might be asking you in general. Okay, that's the goal of it. So um, as a matter of fact, let me ask you all if this is fine. Um, Nazar, I know we, you know, this is the final one. We can as well do it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do us a favor. Please, 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 please don't bail out. I'm going to put us in three groups right now and i want us to work as a team with the kahoot all right so you all share the answer so that it's not going to be one person it will just be okay what do you guys think 
we all write it as a group. Okay, let's do that. I think that would be awesome. Let's do that really as a group. So that let me see one second. Because it will be nice. It's a lot of questions. So you guys can just be straight. Okay. It's about 33 questions. I want us to work as a group. Just work as a group, answer it together. Then we'll bring us back maybe five, seven minutes to two. But it should be fun. Let me share the Kahoot link real quick. Let's go. Let's start the Kahoot. And I will share the link. Let me share my information. You guys can just, uh, let's see, it's in mode. Let's see. All right. The number is 476-1383, the Kahoot number. Yes, it might not be fair because it will not be the same group that will be in the Zoom meeting. All right. But let's just cruise around, you know and just have fun. So still tell your people the answer, even though you're in different group in the real thing, right? But um, can we all go in together? The Kahoot number is 4912-6149. Let me share my screen. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. It's 4761383. 4761383. Four seven six one three eight three. Four seven six one three eight three. So you guys should be watching your carwood, and I'll just be clicking start the next because you've been in a group, you'll not see me again, you will not hear me but be working and just discuss as your group and I'll be moving forward here on my side. Please, can we all join? It would be nice because I want us to, I want more people to win, really. So let's go to team. Let's go to team. Let's go. I'll call you guys Tiger. The first guy is Tiger. The second folks, let's call them Lion. Yeah. Then the next folks, let's call you guys uh, Jaguar. Jaguar. All right, let's see. We got you. Guys, please, if you don't mind, be gracious enough, just join, please, real quick. Let's do that real quick. Since we are going to be working as a team, I expect it to be very fast. So don't stress it. Just be fast. Just be moving. Be moving. But I'm going to still keep my screen. Ignore my screen. Just be answering the questions because you would probably not be able to see my screen once I put you in a group. So let's put us in a group real quick, please. It will be very quick. Don't worry. Just be in the group so that at least you can listen and hear other people's. I want you guys to work as, okay, let's keep it at two groups. No, three, three. Let's keep it three groups so that we can at least collaborate and um be able to. Now, once I assign you, do me a favor. Don't wait for others. Just start talking and say, hey, guys, what do you think the answer is? What's the answer? Just be, that's what I want to do. Just be collaborating what the answer is real quick. All right, let's go real quick. I'll open the group right now. Let's go.
All right, welcome back, everybody. All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, sorry about that. You know what? We're going, we'll just go back to our old way of doing it. Sorry. A lot of you told me you could not see the question. Sorry about that. So let's just get back to the old way of doing it. Okay, let me share my screen. Sorry about that, people. Uh, we just do our old way of doing our stuff. All right, cool. Let's just see. You guys can see my screen. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Let's do our old way of doing it. Sorry about that, people. Um, can you see it? If you can see my screen, give me a thumbs up real quick. Just give me a thumbs up. Can you all see my thank you? All right, let's let's just continue. Sorry, let's do our old way. Browser. Okay, let's go to the next question. All right, let's just do our old way of doing it. It will be fast. Man in the middle attack secretly relays and okay. What I can do is that you guys can type the answer in the chat. Let's do it that way. Whatever you think the answer is, type it in the chat. You know, so that other people can leverage it. If you think the answer is, you know, just type it in the chat. Whatever you think the answer is, type it in the chat so that others can, if they agree with you, type it in the chat. All right, let's see. I think that'll be better. Just type it in the chat. All right, next one. All right, feel free to type what you think it's, it is in the chat. Why not? Now, remember when you're doing your exam, nobody's going to be typing it in the chat for you, right? But for the purpose of our exercise, just to kind of collaborate and see what I was thinking, yeah, we'll do that for today. Somebody said, well, if they say true, I'll say true to whatever. Yeah, we can as well. <laughs> Team Jaguar is finishing everybody. All right, let's go to the next one. Impersonation involves an attacker appearing to be the victim. Uh, we, we had we had discussed about impersonation, right? Impersonation in, involves attacker appearing to be a victim. So they impersonate your IDs, they impersonate your identity, okay? So this is something that you have to um, you have to look. These are like tricky questions in exam. They like put something like that on the paper. So um, it's like it's like a little time, and you have to compete accordingly. Okay, denial of service attack. Remember DDoS attack. D uh, uh, DDoS attack. Denial of service overload a system to make it unavail unavailable. Right. So is it true or false? I think it's a super, super, thank you so much, yeah, obviously, because it actually attacks the website and the traffic goes a lot and it's down. So it is, so denial of service, it's, um, it, it's like super, super mandatory. Yeah, thank you. Malware infil uh, infiltrates or damages a computer without consent. Will they ask you or will they knock your door to damage your computer or your email addresses or your information and all the stuff? I don't think so. You have to check into that, okay? Malware infiltrates or damages a computer system without consent. Thank you so much, Yati. Thank you so much for your input. So these are some password attacks, tries to gain access to secure, uh, to secure account for personal gain. Password attackers try to secure uh, and tries to gain access to a secured account for, pers for personal gain. Identity theft. Remember, we discussed about identity theft. Identity theft is when thieves steal personal, uh, steal personal and financial information for personal gain. We have discussed about identity theft. It's like assuming like someone else is acting like you. So, 
but they are thefting your identity, okay? It's called identity theft. That is when the thief steals personal and financial information for personal gain. Thank you so much. Thank you for the input. Type one authentication requires something the user knows, like password or PIN. Type one authentication, type two authentication, type three authentication. So we have three types of authentication. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the input. We have type two authentication that requires something the user has, like um, the key for B or the smart card, okay? So um, this is regarding the type two authentication, okay? Type two authentication requires something the user has, smart card or FOB, so this is regarding the type two authentication process. Thank you so much, thank you so much for the input. We have type three authentication that requires something the user um, the user is like fingerprint or voice or Hina. It, um, these are something that are super, super unique, okay? Type three authentication requires something the user is like fingerprint or voice. Thank you so much. So the levels of IT multi-factor authentication requires two or more types of authentication. Remember, we discussed about Google Authenticator, we discussed about Microsoft Authenticator. So these are related to those multi-factor authentication requires two or more types of authentication. Is it true or is it false? We had discussed in a very detail, okay? We call it MFA, multi-factor authentication. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the input. And Tim, just to give you a tour, please give us extra 10 minutes of your time. I think we'll go over 10 minutes today because of this uh, quiz, if you don't mind. Thank you. Uh, single sign-on, uh, we had discussed about SSO. Single sign-on allows authentication with one system to access other related systems. So we had SSO, single sign-on allows authentication with one system to access other related systems. Is it true or is it false? So we had SSO authentication. These days, normally all of those companies are done with the SSO authentication, so they have the exposure. Thank you so much for the input. Thank you so much. We have a discretionary access control, GAC, gives the user complete control over a resource. So that resource uh, may be like your complete virtual machine, your complete cloud uh, firewall, complete resource regarding those um, VMs on the cloud, those access administrator privileges. We have a lot of things over here. So complete resource means they are giving you a whole in whole. Okay. Thank you so much for the input. We have uh, we have uh, our role based RBSC. We call it role based access control restricts access based on the user role. So this is something like uh, uh, how uh, how those role base works. How can you like uh, uh, access the level? The the you can restrict the level of access that are having on the cloud system, on the firewall systems, on the uh, on the you can say in Microsoft side if you go for the Intune for those for all of those things. So. Uh, this is man mandatory access control allows user to override security policy. Mandatory access control 
it's not the, the other manic that we were uh, talking about. This is another regarding the security, okay? We call it mandatory access control, allows user to override security policy. True or false, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the input. Thank you so much. So these are some super, super important kind of the provision you have to take into your mind. Accounting tracks user activity on a system, okay? So it's like, where did the user access that? How, what did he do in the system? What are the logs for the audits and all the stuff? So we also have the IT audits firms. They come twice a year, so they check all those reports and all the stuff, everything is okay. So that accounting is super, super important to try call. Thank you so much for the great input. So we have a few more uh, login uh, captures and store computers and user login, okay? Login captures are store computer and user even. So you have to, um, you have, we, we call it the login capture. So these are login capture, super, super great feature in, uh, in the security once you get into the system. So they capture, okay, that this person has access the system on on these uh, on these uh, details thank you so much for for your input so we have a great competition over here okay you can see that it's super great team jaguar is just on the top we have team tiger already over here so non repudiation ensures someone can deny performing a certain act it is non-repudiation. Non-repudiation ensures someone can deny performing a certain act. So you have to be uh, super, super aware of it, okay? True or false? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have a great competition, by the way. We have a very team, team Tiger is just at the, at the very age. Device password forces users to log in before using a computer device. Device password forces users to log in before using a computer device. True or false? We have device passwords, right? Device password forces user to log in before using a computer device. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your valuable input. So it's just a kind of like, you can say, a rollback of your mind to recatch all those events. Firewall controls network traffic to protect against unauthorized connections. Firewall, remember we discussed in our yesterday class as well, those cloud-based firewalls, those next-generation firewalls, those uh, physical hardware-based firewalls. So firewall controls natural traffic to protect against unauthorized connections. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your input. So uh, anti-malware anti software helps protect against malicious softwares. So is it true anti-malware software help against malicious software? So even uh, there are some bonus questions. You can just read those questions and you can find out the answer within the question. So the best thing is that you just have to find the clue, okay? Thank you so much for the answer. Thank you so much. Great, 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 great. Okay, great enough. Thank you so much. So we have anti-spam softwares that helps remove unwanted and unsolicited emails. So um, this is all through anti-spam software. Is it true or is it false? So very general, you can say uh, very generic. Most of these organizations these days, all of them have those uh, as a mandatory for organization because those... Uh, and spam emails has been like kind of uh, nightmare for organizations. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for the input. 
E-commerce uh, involves the buying and selling of products, services electronically. It should be like done within a few milliseconds, okay? Everybody knows these days that it is done, obviously. E-commerce, okay? Thank you so much for the answers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was expected. That's great, Anna. Data destruction policy provides directions for disposing of devices and data. Data destruction policy. I remember we discussed how to uh, we we have a limited time for uh, electronic data to keep in the hard drive. So data destruction policies apply to those those things okay if i can give uh, like uh, yeah, and they may be like seven years or like five to seven years are the maximum period of time thank you so much as expected thank you so much that's great that's great and if you're just near we just have windows defender is an anti-malware software installed and configured by default on systems so you have used anti you have used windows defender what does it do? They have a lot of options. You can just scan over there and can see all those options on your system. You can see and you can easily figure it out. Is it true or is it false for this one? Thank you so much. Thank you. So we just have one more question over here. Windows Firewall is a host-based firewall installed by default with Windows. Windows Firewall, we checked the, uh, the status of Windows Firewall, we checked the policies, the incoming, outgoing policies, so all were like practically checked. This is totally true on Windows Firewall. It's a host-based firewall installed by default with Windows. Is it true or is it false? Is it the very last question? Thank you so much for your answers. And obviously it shows your dedication and it shows all of your commitment. Thank you so much. And here it goes, Loin. Uh, it was Hi, we uh, have a second and we have our team. It, it, it's, it, it's on the top as we say. So thank you so much, everyone. It was really great. And uh, your cooperation is like super, super appreciate it um you will remember us for your evergreen diaries remember that okay you will remember both of us for for for, for such a comprehensive course with a very short limited time and i, I hope you enjoyed and uh, uh, you will see the fruit in, uh, in in a very short period of time over to you mr akin thank you so much thank you so much folks um let's give it up give some love to nasa folks please let's give some love give some icon give some appreciation to nasa really i mean i i want to say nasa man you're just an amazing human being thank you for you know i spoke with you casually about what i wanted to do you even pushed it to a different level you encouraged us to make sure we had good content more time so I want to say thank you. Thank you. I mean, you guys are the best um, hearted person mentoring and teaching you all. So thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very well thank done. You, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. For and, your you know, time. I know we have you know two more minutes that you spared us. I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much appreciated. We know there are many things you can be doing on the weekend and you chose to hang out with us. For that, a big thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, as always, please remember you are part of our community now and you will see us share a lot of information out there, content. Sometimes I may share content not necessarily relevant to CompTIA, okay? So be ready for that. There will be content that are just helpful, best practices. There was a document, I'm not sure if I sent it in this group, that we shared on, in our community for best practices for, um, for cybersecurity, I think. You see me share stuff that I think will be useful to you because I share it with my other communities on WhatsApp, social media, you know, all over. So embrace it. Join us. Keep joining us. Keep getting information and enjoy it. We are colleagues now. We are professional. 
network now as live happens keep us updated abreast and always remember impossible is nothing you got this i wish you godspeed folks go shine talk soon everybody bye